Before we dive into the sensitive nature of this video, I just want to say a massive thank you for every subscriber of mine. I have recently reached 10,000 subscribers. This is insane. I've only been on YouTube since September. So this is a massive, massive thing. But anyway, let's get to the video. The reason Putin invaded Ukraine. Disclaimer. This video does not offer conclusive evidence as to why Putin has invaded Ukraine. After all, I cannot think inside the mind of a politician and therefore any content raised throughout this video must be interpreted as suggestive. Additionally, this video shows a, one of many, historical reasons as to why Putin has invaded Ukraine. And as such, this video is more educational than political in form. As a historian, I am fascinated as to why Russian history permeates so heavily in modern politics. And it's probable that Russia is one of the most historically fascinating countries out there. Not only because of its rich past, but because of how things of the past continue to motivate Russian politicians to do certain things, such as invade Ukraine. So who is this woman and why is she responsible for Putin's invasion of Ukraine? This is going to be the main topic of today's video. So stay tuned and it's pretty fascinating. But before we uncover the mysterious woman, let's explore Putin in a bit more detail. Putin and history. Vladimir Putin, before his intense political career, worked for the KGB under the Soviet Union, a body which acted as the Russian secret police. In the 1980s, Putin was stationed to Dresden, that time a major city in East Germany, under the guise of a Russian translator. In reality, he was performing Soviet espionage, which included the deployment of secret poisonings, something the UK knows only too well. Crucially, Putin's experience of the KGB thrusted him into a world of history and politics. The KGB was supposedly leftist, yet, as we know today, Putin is anything but. One thing Putin certainly acknowledged, however, was Russian history which is seen a little differently to how the West views it. Putin's thought on history is incredibly interesting. As follows in many Russian traditional historiographies, history is on a continuum. What happened in the past is the reason for the present and ultimately the future. The KGB exposed Putin to a more radical side of political ambition, pan-Slavism, Russian superiority, but more crucially, longevity. When the USSR collapsed in 1991, Russia lost many holdings it had held for so long, including Poland, Kazakhstan, the Baltics and Ukraine. The loss of these territories was an embarrassment to many Russian magnates and oligarchs who believed that these losses did not fit the grand path destined for Russia. Putin and the Woman Sofia Perovskaya has an interesting relationship to Putin. Putin probably doesn't even know she exists, yet nonetheless, she is the reason why Putin was able to invade Ukraine in the first place. Born in the 1880s, Sofia Perovskaya was a Russian radical, an assassin, if you will. Her target was Alexander II of Russia, who was deemed as the Tsar Liberator. As Alexander liberated the Russian serfs, from practical slavery in 1861. This encouraged the notion of freedom and constitutional monarchy within Alexander II, but many Russian peasants did not realize. In 1881, Alexander drafted a constitution which would have allowed genuine democratic concessions to the Russian people and throw off the yoke of autocracy that had dominated Russia since its inception. On paper, this was something Sofia Perovskaya would have benefited from. Yet, she didn't realise this document even existed, and so she took action against the Tsar. Falsely believing that Alexander was against Russian freedom, she organised an explosion of the Tsar's carriage in St. Petersburg, the first bomb missed, killing innocent lives in the city. However, the Tsar got out of his carriage to see what was going on. Standing in front of him was Sofia Perovskaya, whose accomplice was launching yet another bomb. Within moments, Alexander II was dying. The constitution he carried in his pocket 
torn to shreds. Russia would never see anything as close to democracy again, not until the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, 110 years later. Sofia was tried, executed, and then forgotten about in Russian history. Yet her actions are ironic. On one hand, she tried to throw off the yoke of autocracy, and on the other, she is the reason why it still exists today. Why is Sofia the reason Ukraine was invaded? One thing I must make clear is that this video does not portray Sofia as the only reason why Russia invaded Ukraine. As a historian, we need to understand nuance when it comes to grand political actions. What I will say, however, is that Sofia's actions precluded the climate of complete autocracy within Russia. Autocracy was never inevitable, yet the longevity of it inspired future generations of Russian leaders to continue it. Sofia was among the first in Russia to seek out revolution, and although she is largely forgotten by present historians, she inspired someone particularly infamous in history, Vladimir Lenin. Sofia was executed alongside Lenin's brother, and Lenin swore revenge. In 1917, Lenin launched the October Revolution, sparking the first communist polity in the world, the USSR. Putin's grandfather, bizarrely, was the chef to Lenin and Stalin, a fact which Putin is proud about as he now represents the successor to both. Putin would not be in the position he is in today without Stalin, who would not have been in his position without Lenin, who himself would not have been in his own position if it was not for Sofia. Without Sofia, Putin would have not been in the position he is in today to invade Ukraine, and it is entirely possible that the invasion may have never happened. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, my name is The Shy Historian, and stay tuned for many more.